This election is a test not just of the opposing candidates, but of the voting public. You wrote that this past summer. Explain yourself. Well, it's not just a question of what the administration is doing. The question is the extent to which the public understands what they're doing, uh, not only on particular issues like medical care or things like that, but about the whole way the country is governed. That is, if you can have a, a president who by executive order can nullify acts of Congress, can decide that some portions of the law that he likes will be enforced and other portions that he doesn't like will not be enforced, uh, then we no longer have uh, the separation of powers. And we have the, the executive uh, acting as the overruling uh, power in the nation. You've also written, again this past summer, quote, if this, if this year's election is going to be decided on the basis of hard facts, the Obama administration is doomed. Yes. What do you mean by that? Well, the hard fact is that uh, we've had this enormous uh, uh, length of time that unemployment has been up above 8%. Uh, and none of the exp extraordinarily expensive things that have been done have made a real dent in it. Uh, and if people were going by things like that, and if they're going by what's happening internationally, and that's not even counting the most recent things today of an American uh, ambassador being killed in a country that's supposed to be going through the Arab Spring, as the, as, as the administration says, uh, that Iran is going towards nuclear weapons with no sign whatever of slowing down. North Korea's already got them. Uh, other countries are uh, siding with, with our enemies. So, There's so no what, you're say, what you're saying is that this election, more than most, yes. represents a test of the democratic experiment, whether we can govern ourselves. A absolutely. All right. A and, and if by some miracle we, get through, we, we have the good sense to, to uh, remove this president, the question is, will we have learned a lesson or will we turn off our common sense when there is the first woman president uh, you know, the first Asian president, the first Latin president. I mean, are, are we so hung up on symbolism that we don't understand that being president of the United States means having the lives of 300 million people in your hands and the future of people yet unborn? If we don't understand that and we're willing to vote for people on the basis of symbolism, then we're lost.